Hello again, Coles here, and in this video I'm going to show you my Lego Slave 1 in Lego Worlds. So obviously this is the Millennium Falcon I showed in one of my other videos. I've made some changes to the ramp first of all, because at first like you couldn't walk up it, because you just kind of got stuck into the roof got, well slash floor because it's actually the floor um, and it was like so I had to make it steep but now it's okay I haven't really done much with the interior yet um, and another thing I noticed was the cockpit where obviously the window doesn't go all the way around what I mean is, I'll just quickly show you, I think. So, obviously, these bits here aren't glass, it's not a window. I mean, it's probably only really half of it is actually your window but we still want to keep the kind of a round shape it's kind of a weird shape on here I know but what can I say we're kind of limited by what bricks we have So I just kind of made it the best I could. And uh, you know, I might be able to do it better. But I'm not going to do that now. I think that looks better already. I'll leave it like that for now, I think. Actually, one last little bit. The window sections aren't really that long. I kind of made them too long, I think. Uh, it looks better. Still not perfect, but... I'll do for now. Okay. So, the slave one. Where is it? There we go. Here is my slave one. Based off one of the actual um, slave one Lego sets. I have this one myself. I can't remember what number it is. <coughs> It might be... I'm just going to quickly check. I think it's like 6209. Um, yeah, 6209. Slave 1. Lego Star Wars Slave 1 model number 6209 uh, so I got that you know probably quite a few years ago yeah it's probably like 8 years ago it's a pretty cool set obviously it doesn't look that accurate to the actual ship so I tried to make this accurate to the set I'll probably try and make another one more accurate to the real thing I kind of made the wings try to make them more accurate to the real thing because obviously in the set they are higher up because when you lift up the set so it's like vertical the seat rotates and so do the wings but obviously in this we can't stand up and we can't rotate it can't rotate the wings so 
in the real thing on the real thing like the like the kind of hinge for rotating the wings is kind of like right down at the bottom of the ship you can see it on the back if it was upright but obviously in the lego set it goes through the ship and in this yeah you can see where the, the dark gray bit is and like the kind of sand colored block is so that's where it is in the set where it would where the wing would come from and rotate but this I kind of load it down with these half circle bricks and it goes all, all the way through like on the real thing and it's going dark again and again obviously there's you know quite a lot of pieces missing like these like wing arch things here um, in the set they don't actually look that great they look better in newer sets but in this particular one they really didn't look great so I've kind of tried to make it look kind of roundish um, and look like it does on the save one which I, I think I've kind of done an alright job could obviously do better obviously you can go inside unfortunately these I chose this seat because it's you know kind of the best looking one and it looks like the actual seat from the save one if you've watched the films um, when Django is in the ship and when Boba is in the ship in I think episode 5 you know the chair is like black and kind of looks kind of similar to that so there's obviously room inside and you know obviously with the set you get a frozen Han Solo which is a brick like ah uh, this one so it's like this and it just has it has Han Solo like painted on one side frozen in carbonite and it would fit in the ship and there's like a door on the it would be like a door on the back of a ship and you could like flick it up you know like how a, a ramp door would come up and it would keep uh, and solo inside but obviously if you don't have rotating parts so I didn't really bother with that okay what have we got okay so obviously we could take in uh, Han Solo there's plenty of room in here so we would probably store him down here are we in? yes I think we are ok so now we have Han Solo frozen in carbonite in our ship and actually kind of makes it easier to get to our seat because we can walk along him right let's zoom in there we go first person walking on Han Solo to get to our chair and there's obviously like the big window that the ship has and you know there isn't that part in the game so I kind of had to make it up and I think I did an alright job but I could use like the little triangle pieces like where are they at like these ones, you know, you can kind of use them to look, make things look more rounded and smooth, I suppose. But, well, not if you put it that way. But if I put it, you know, like that, it kind of gives it a better finish, probably. But it's not particularly important. So I'm just going to leave it how it is. Oh, 
on the real ship and like these four these four stud sloping pieces here like they would open up there you have like the hinge bits where there's like you know the brick with with the lining with the gap in it and in the set there like the rotating pieces I can't really describe them but if you have this set then you'll know what I mean and then there's like one of those big like rubber missile things that fires out obviously these bit, this bit in the middle in the actual thing it's like sloped it looks better than it just going straight down like that but I didn't really have a choice for that and then obviously we have like the guns here they're not like the ones in the set I wanted to make them more like the ones of the actual thing and I think they look pretty good they kind of have like a dark grey bottom bit that would rotate and then a shorter kind of shaped dark grey you know like barrel so I think all in all I did a good job of that bit and then looking again on the wings obviously there's like the uh, like the flap things you know like aeroplanes have um, I kind of I use like the ingot blocks because they actually look similar to the texture of the actual wing and yeah there it is my slave one version one I'm not going to say it's the final thing because I might improve it but I have this model saved if I can find it um, where are they? I made brick builds. It's kind of hard to, I don't know, you just sometimes forget where things are saved in this game. So it does actually have a picture, so, is it this one? Because I actually have several saved. I think it probably is that one. Version 1, version 2. And then I think my final one. Well, the most recent one is this one. So if we just like place it there, you can have a look at the bottom. It's kind of similar to how the one, how the set is, and the real thing. But I think the two small circle things are blue, and then the line, like the thrust of it's like a line, is orange in the film and in the actual thing so I think I'll just change that now see how it looks rebuild, yep yeah, that's right no, don't want that, want this so what colour is it? I don't want it transparent brown Blue. There we go. And then these ones are orange. Is there a red? I think they're kind of more of a red colour, but yeah, that looks more like it actually does. Nice. Okay. So there we have it, my slave one. Hopefully at some point they'll launch like Steam Workshop for it, for sharing builds and stuff. Or like have something on their website for doing it. Because, you know, I kind of want to share it with everyone. And I suppose I could do like a tutorial on how to build it but uh, I don't know, it might take a while I don't think it would take as long as the Millennium Falcon but I'm going to say 
want to get to 50 likes again and I'll do a tutorial and I say that because obviously I need time to make the tutorials and you know 50 likes might take a while so that's okay oh yeah and here I am working on my base I'm using like the headquarters build wherever it is brick builds and then if you go right up to the top if you've unlocked it that is you get the intergalactic headquarters which is actually pink um, so I've used like several of them because they're quite good for the like the corridors inside you know you can make it kind of look Star wars -y. So that's what I'm doing. And obviously all this will be like, you know, sealed off all the inside. So you can only go through the corridors and stuff and not like right in the middle. So it might actually look alright. And we have a hangar up there and some smaller ones for you know like land vehicles. <coughs> yes, so that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll right, see you next time. Oh, that was weird. What happened there? So it's actually working. Getaway car. And our drill. Now, actually, these are.